They came wearing their finest clothing and jewelry. The beautiful ceremony included music, dancing, and a huge feast. Wow, take a look at this a colorful scene right here. Just one of many beautiful illustration uh, just, uh, scenes here in the book. The book is called Three Sisters and the Black Snake. And a local couple put this project together and they're about to publish it on Monday. Congratulations. Thank you. Let everyone know uh, your name here. Teresa Chow Rother. And I'm Josh Rother. And they are a husband and wife team. So Josh is the illustrator of the book, and Teresa is the author. How did you guys come up with the the concept of this children's book? Well, Three Sisters and the Black Snake, it's an Iumian folktale. It's from our culture. Uh, it teaches you about kindness, dedication, and selflessness. The story takes place in Southeast Asia. Uh, the story is inspired by my father uh, for me to write the story. Growing up as first-generation immigrant, my parents didn't have a formal education or the luxury to buy books. Mm -hmm. uh, storytelling was my father's way of sharing bedtime stories. I think he really instilled in me the passion and the right. imagination to create and share stories today. So tell us about this story and the importance of, you know, sharing this type of story with, you know, the people here in Sacramento. I think it's good for, for the Mian community uh, for, for to, to preserve our culture, our identity and pass it on to our younger generation. Uh, that was a huge thing for my father. Uh, being proud of our Iumian culture, Iumian culture, preserving the traditions and passing it down to us, as uh, his oh, children. Fantastic. Now, you wrote the story here, and Josh, you are the illustrator of the book, and I must say, some of the uh, the scenes and the pictures, it's fantastic, but you actually have some background in uh, creating, I guess, art, right? Yeah, I've been in game art for a little over 11, 12 years now, and um, just, uh, yeah, that transferred over a lot. Character design and doing the research, I wanted to really nail it. And so I definitely tapped Teresa and her mom a lot for <laughs> making sure I had the right reference. And then it was all true and was being, you know, giving, uh, really honoring, like she said, honoring that traditionally handed down story that came just by word of mouth from one generation to the next. And so it means a lot to them and I wanted to make sure that I'm being true to that and 